Biddy beep 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 beep. Incoming message. Boo boo beep 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 boo 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 beep. Morse code message. Beep 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 beep. New feature added to Tinkercad. Boop 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 beep beep. Guys, we just got a message. I just woke up to a Morse code message. We got a new feature in Tinkercad, guys. Oh my gosh, they've been adding stuff often. Oh my gosh. Why did I think this program might not like be updated so often like that like i'm so happy guys i have not looked at it let's go create 3d design i watched a little video on it so uh i mean it's it looks pretty straightforward where's my mouse pad i just woke up i'm slamming coffee i have to leave the house at 8 a.m so we have to do a short little video here oh <gasps> look it's a top you know what that would be, oh man, we already did a super good top video a long time ago. Oh, gosh. Guys, are you ready? Sketch. Oh, revolve sketch. <laughs> sketch tool revolve. I want to call it. Okay, fine. Revolve sketch. Guys, let's pull it out and set it down. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, here we go. Okay, give revolve a spin. Now you can revolve your sketches to make unique shapes. Wheels, robot parts, bowls, game pieces, you name it. Use familiar sketch tools. If you if you have used Sketch Extrude, you can already sketch with Sketch Revolve. Draw a path on the left side of the center axis and watch the 3D preview update with the result revolve shape result. So you can see up in the corner the result already. Rotate around center axis. The center axis. Uh the axis line in the center of the sketch determines what your revolved shape will look like. Any part of the path that crossed the center axis to the shaded side will not add to the final 3D shape. Let's go, guys. Continue to sketch. Please, computer, be better. Um. Okay. Guys? Oh, my gosh. We almost have to. HL Mod, Mod Tech... He just did his um, really good little demonstration of the tool. And, guys, we made a chess piece, a whole chess set for a video because somebody requested it. Um, so could you imagine, guys, if, if – oh, gosh, them are in my way. Why is my, my – my computer feels laggy already. Let me change the setting quick. Okay, we'll see if that helps. Oh my gosh, yeah, we made a whole chess set, and we did, I'm trying to think, there was like that SVG Revolve tool, uh, I, I can't remember if we used that or not, so, ah, oh man, my, why is my computer always laggy, will somebody buy me, oh my gosh, that's what our thing looks like, oh, I see, because we haven't rounded them yet, I was gonna say, we're not very good at making chess pieces here, guys, let's try this out, boing, my computer's really laggy, and it makes me want to move to Chechnya. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and turn some of these into curves here. Boopage. Boopage. Uh, which one's boopage? Look, it's happening over there. Okay, this chess piece might be a little thick on the bottom. Is that fat on the bottom? I think this is way too out, outy, out here. Let's, 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 let's dial her in a little bit. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Obviously, today I don't... Oh, my gosh. Let's pull this down. I don't have enough time to do a super project, but that's okay. Finish sketch. Guys, that's not too bad. Let's hit D to drop it. That is not too bad. And let's make sure you can go back in and how quick it is to edit. Like, super quick. Look at... So see, we could uh, we could pull this pupper in and do a little bit of this. Bam. Okay. It is very, very straightforward. That looks good, guys. Let's turn it into, okay, black. And then let's, let's just duplicate it here. And we'll make a white one so it looks like two pawns. There we go. Game pieces, guys. So, obviously, like, for making mechanical parts and stuff, this is just going to be fantastic. As far as, like, full, complete models, you know, there's things like vases and goblets and tops. Let's make a top. Obviously, 
obviously that's kind of what that little image is that they have. Actually, that looks pretty good too. I don't want to just copy. Should we just make their exact? Should we make their exact top? No. Okay, so let's go like this. Boop boop. And then our top's got to come way out, bro. Maybe. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's how we want it. Um, I don't know why I want a little ridge like this. And then we are going to come way in, bros. Uh, this is so cool. Guys, the fact that they're adding more stuff to Tinkercad warms my heart. It's been pretty often, too. So this is very straightforward. Like, obviously, I'm just doing everything I normally do in the, you know, all the functions are the same for the sketch tool, you know. You could make new shapes. That's what um, Mod Tech was saying, too, obviously, just like with the normal sketch tool. Um, that one, should we have, nope, that one we should leave like that. Let's round this one. Um, so let's demonstrate that quick. So see, once we, let's say we kind of like the shape of this top here. Would that be easy to spin? Yeah, I guess so. So see, if you click um, off of it here, we can just make an, a new shape too and add it to it. So let's say we wanted one more bump -a rooney Oh, wait, am I doing this weird? Let's see. No. Dude, the fact that I can see it on the right, that is amazing. So let's say we wanted kind of a raised, just a, you know, texture push portion. Let's turn this one into a curve. Just for, just because. Okay, let's go to finish sketch. Guys, oh my gosh, this is the best top that's ever been made in the whole world. That's actually a pretty cool looking top. Um, printing that though. You know what I've kind of found... Hmm. Well, we could have made it in two separate pieces. A top like that, you'd almost want to um, print it in two separate pieces and glue it together. Here, let's let's show what we would do. Obviously, we could have just made the two parts separately in the uh, sketch revolve revolve sketch, but we could also just do something like this. I wish I was going computer shopping today. Okay, let's put this right in the center. Yeah, we're laggy. I, it's because I was messy with my graphics settings and I got them all screwed up now. Okay, uh, is that right up to the edge here? Oh gosh, I can't see. <gasps> okay. Here, watch this. We're going to just duplicate this whole little setup here. A boopage. Okay, I'm going to uh I'm going to group these two so it cuts off the whole bottom. See it's going to cut off the bottom. Union group. Dude, this is going to be so fun. That was so easy to make a top. While we're waiting for that to be slow, uh we can we can watch this. We'll just grab this bottom, uh, bottom bar, bottom square tab and pull it up. See, like that. Now we're doing the opposite. We're cutting the top off. That means we're going to have a top and a bottom. Union group. I wonder if Santa will bring me a supercomputer. Okay, look at that. So see, now, now we can hit D to drop this. Boop. But see, we could have technically done that with Revolve Sketch also. But I'm just uh, a little side technique there. Let's flip this pupper over. And see, gluing together these surfaces is super easy because they're just flat. So see, this is a, one way you could print this top. Otherwise, I guess you could use supports. But, uh, dude, I honestly want to print this. But, <gasps> oh my gosh. So, guys, this is just a very short video because I got to leave the house very soon for the day. Uh, but we are going to absolutely do a full model. I don't even know what we're going to do. We're going to think of something. I, I want to print the top. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's that's how in depth I get. So I don't know if I even covered everything, but that was just my first look, and I absolutely love it, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll be back probably tomorrow with another video using this new feature. All right, guys. See ya.